Hi guys. Yeah. Cold weather, hey, Cape Town. Same year, big Park. There's uh, snow on the mountains, they say here, yeah. Cedarburg and so on. So yeah, nice and cold. But I just had a nice coffee, so I'm nice and warm inside. So I can quickly take this video out here with the beautiful roses, the beautiful flowers. I'll step back a little bit, you can see. Oops. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, you can see this little one. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, there it pops out you see hello <laughs> so yeah so just wanted to say you know in, in the midst of God's beautiful creation that you know there's going to come a time when Jesus returns he says nobody knows the day or the hour all right now I've thought about this before but I'll teach it again that the day and the hour refers to the feast of trumpets okay so they didn't know when the new year would start Rosh Hashanah Okay, they don't know when it starts the Jews in the old days. So they would have two witnesses. They would look up to the moon to see when the new year starts according to the moon. Okay. And so once they would see that it's full moon, they would then, you know, pronounce it. Okay. And then the chauffeurs will start bl blasting and it will be the announcement of the new year. So when Jesus says nobody knows the day or the hour, he's referring to two days and specific hours. It's referring to Rosh Hashanah, because Rosh Hashanah, the blowing of the trumpets, Feast of Trumpets, okay, it, it is known in the Jewish understanding as the day of the coming of the Lord, okay. Jesus didn't come, wasn't born on Rosh Hashanah, okay. He's coming on Rosh Hashanah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's a bit of Jewish understanding. But okay, what I want to teach on today is that we are definitely, I think, in the end times. I heard the other day also of a... Jewish teacher, okay, that um, a Jewish Messiah, Messianic teacher, all right, that in Daniel 12, verse 4, all right, you'll find that uh, God speaks to Daniel and says he must shut up the book because this is for the end time. And I've never heard anybody teach on this so beautifully, all right, but wow, he says three things stand out. And so I just want to share it with you guys. The one is many. There has never been so many people in this world. We are, what, seven billion. It's, it's, it's incredible how many people there are in the world. Okay. It says they will go to and fro. Hello, is there ever a time people can so easily go back and forth? They fly in cars. People everywhere just go to and fro. It, it, it's, it's clear, very, very clear, that like never before in the ages, people can go to and fro. All right. And what? knowledge will increase it is incredible the knowledge how it's increased anyway, bottom line is previously it doubled then in 1970 okay it doubled again and then since then it will go on and on and on now it's every year knowledge just doubles okay it's just incredible the amount of knowledge that just doubles it just says we are just like spiking with knowledge it's incredible so what i'm saying is the the, the stuff that you've read in the book of revelation the stuff of Daniel, we are in those times, I believe. Jesus has said to me personally that the Antichrist, this is about four years ago, four or five years ago, he showed me a picture how he's coming out of the ground, this dark figure coming out of the ground. And he said, the Antichrist is now rising. So I, I know it's very close. I, I have had so many people that have met personally that Jesus has said, I'm this close. Okay. But either through an angel or personally. To Sid Roth, he said, I'm coming soon, I'm coming soon, I'm coming soon. You know, in Jewish culture, if you want to put an exclama exclamation mark, important, you, you say it double. I'm coming soon, I'm coming soon. If you say it three times, my boy, then you must listen. <laughs> it's very soon. So all I want to say, guys, all right, what, what's our response to this? How, how do we respond to all of this? We must just be faithful all right in matthew 24 jesus describes the end times and then he says who is that servant that will be found faithful giving okay those who need their food at the appropriate time and so he says bless that servant but if he comes back and he finds them drunk and you know they just don't care they just laid back, whatever. 
uh, it will not be good but but if you are ready if you're saying you, if you move by the spirit and you give people their food whether it's spiritual or physical food you know it 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 it, it doesn't matter which one you're doing it, it's as long as you are feeding god's people and you're caring and you're doing what god has called you to do you know so yeah guys i just want to say to you that the bottom line is you know we can all get freaked out uh, are we go going through the tribulation or not and some say we are some say we're not it doesn't really matter the, the point is is if if we go through it god will protect us like the time that the the Israelites were in Goshen and they were protected from all the plagues and all the stuff. All right. Same with us. We will be protected. But then we've got to have great faith. We've got to know and trust that God will protect, provide for us and protect us. So, yeah, we'll see when it comes, but be ready for anything. All I want to say to you guys, we're in end times. And the focus is that when God comes, you want to be awake because then he says, you will escape all these things. And that the word is not a trip, not to be pulled away. It is literally to escape. He says, therefore pray and, and, and watch that you may be counted worthy to stand before the Son of Man and escape all these things. It, 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 it's, we, we just want to be faithful. That's what I'm saying. We, we, at this time, we want to be praying. We want to be fasting when God calls us to fast. We want to be giving when God tells us to give. We want to be doing good as God tells us, leads us to do good all by the working of the holy spirit because it all comes from spending time with god and then out of that comes the love of god and you bear fruits out of jesus and so in relationship with jesus christ you bear good fruits and all these things come out so guys i just want to say that that we i believe firmly from what god has spoken to me personally and so many others that that we are really in those times that we need to be ready we need to be ready all right well, even if it doesn't come, you still want to be ready. <laughs> it should actually make no difference whether he's coming or not, because we should be ready. Because you can go today, you can go tomorrow, you don't know. But I just want to say, be ready, all right? Because we could be in that time. I really think so. But hey, I could be wrong. But it's the first time that Israel is a country again. What, what generation did Jesus point to when he was saying, this generation shall not pass away till all things things have passed taken place i can go on and on and on but i'm just want to say this guys we might be it hey this might be it all right love you all be faithful because god will bless you for it okay goodbye